In 60 seconds, here are four steps to requesting a background check under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. 1. Employer Certification Certify that you have a permissible purpose to request a background check through HireRight and that you have and will comply with all applicable laws. 2. Disclosure and Authorization Provide the applicant with a standalone document that discloses your intent to request a background check and obtain their written consent. 3. Pre-adverse action. If you disqualify an applicant, then you'll need to give them a copy of their background report and a summary of rights under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. The applicant should review their background report and, if they feel it's inaccurate or incomplete, they should contact HireRight and dispute the results. 4. Adverse Action If, after at least five days, the applicant hasn't filed a dispute, then you can send out an adverse action noting that the applicant is being rejected based in whole or in part on their background check. HireRight's address and telephone number that HireRight did not make the decision to take adverse action and is unable to provide the reason for your decision, and the applicant's right to obtain a free copy of the background report from HireRight and to dispute any information contained in it with HireRight. This is just the tip of the compliance iceberg. Find out more about your compliance responsibilities in HireRight's Background Checks Primer available in the resource library on HireRight's website.